I just realized we got some mint transmog on. If I could actually use this on live wow, this would probably be, <laughs> it's like a full set, it's funny. All right, hey there guys, it's Metro, we're back again. Today we're gonna return to the craziness of this playthrough. It's been a, yeah, it's been a wild ride so far. Uh, I guess step one is go turn in uh, the materials that we have for the, um, the war resource stuff, whatever that all is. Uh, and then, yeah. I guess we need to do some vendoring too, it looks like. I don't know why I have all this stuff in my inventory, I guess, but yes, we will continue and hopefully make some, uh, we'll get some stuff done with this new warrior quest line that we have. I guess we've had it and we just chose not to do it until now, but what am I doing? Uh, smelting 40 bars. Let's go and do that. And then we'll also smelts 2010 it's good numbers it's perfect because we can keep one in our inventory of each slot I don't know if that's a good idea though to be honest it's probably not especially considering how tight our inventory has been let's go ahead and just get all of this out of our inventory because I don't, like, I obviously we're going to see copper again. But it doesn't necessarily, uh, I don't know, what do you think? We're probably, yeah, no, I, I can't decide on this. It's always a tough decision for me. I should probably not keep any bars in the inventory, but since we already have a couple bars sitting around, we might as well just keep them. Or should we not? Should we just get rid of the bars? Probably just get rid of the bars. Oh, we're down to one potion, huh? Okay, tin. Make no additional bars, so we don't need a slot in our inventory for it. Bronze aren't going anywhere, unfortunately for us. We can just vendor them in the future, but. You could if you could make a. Like one tin bar back in. Or one bronze bar back in the other stuff, but. That would make a lot of sense, I guess. Okay, that's that. Um, made some bandages now. Some bandages. Oh, we have a lot of bandages. This one probably needs additional nerfs. I don't know though. Are you overthinking it? What, what do we have it at? Let's see. I'll just look again while we do this. You got a lot of cloth. I didn't really think about that. Eight ninety five for wool. Eh, 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 eh. So that's gonna be like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundred, pretty much seventeen hundred. And what is linen currently? Yeah, that's not. Let's go ahead and lower it even further. We just get too much of it. I feel like. Those will be updated for the future. Yeah, the bandages take forever to make. No doubt about that. Let's get out of here. There's uh, too much noise here. Ah, you know what? Why can't we smell gold right now? We need to train that, I guess. 
I have the finest wares in the land. I knew this stuff. What's your on your skill? Mind? Blacksmithing is exceptionally effective. The time has come to make a decision. Are we actually able to pick our missing already? I didn't think we'd be able to do that this soon. This is not the guy that we would talk to, I guess, right? The discipline each path requires leaves no room for hybrids. You know more than I do, that's a certainty. I can't say enough of Deep Mountain Mining Guilds. Smelt gold. I guess me, there's no greater profession than a miner. I guess that's it. There's no uh like when, where do we train the next level of it? Not here, I guess. We also turn the cloth in here too. That's probably just not something we'll ever do again. Character's looking strong though now. What, what are we at? 29? Yeah, 29. About to go get some more gear and power, I guess. We'll see what that gear looks like. Finish the bandages. Click on the wrong thing. Okay, linen bandages. Make those for now. Takes forever, but it's got to be done. Just have to figure out what <laughs> what the crafting thing, the change I made to that was, and do that again. Just made a video, just like a random video, while we were in between episodes. Some. Stuff came out for a while, uh, for a lot of while, so made a video for that. But yeah, so apparently we have like a pretty involved warrior quest line coming. See, I I didn't even realize this. I didn't even put two and two together. But this is not in Ironforge, is it? It is not. It is in Stormwind. <laughs> I didn't even... Fuck. It's actually uh, a dwarf. It's the guy that we did the, the shield guy, the shield quest with. But it's not... It's not in here. It's in Stormwind. So we gotta actually go to Stormwind. It's funny. But we'll train while we're here, I guess. Turn this stuff in and then go put our stuff back in the bat in the bank and that'll be that. Definitely need to make the bat the accommodation stack higher than hundred though. Uh let's see, item template. For the future. What is heroic commendation medal? What is that? Oh, it's a neck. <laughs> that ain't it. Let's see. Uh, Alliance accommodation signal. There we go. Stackable, yes, but of no, not to 100 to 200. Good. Very good. That'd be for the future. Having silk as well. Okay, that's 60. I want to make another 31, so we're going to get 29 of these. All 
kind of bag's not gonna. There's not enough room for all the things. Well, those two slots will open up, I guess. We're definitely not gonna have room for all of them, though. We'll have to buy another inventory slot. Oh, I don't have any bags for it though, but we can buy them whenever. But yeah, so in this episode we will be probably just, just doing that because it looks like it's pretty involved. Uh, so we'll head to Stormwind after this. Also turn in stone there as well. And then we will head out to do whatever it is that we need to do here. I don't know exactly what it involves. It looks like it's kind of complicated. Gonna be a lot of travel. I should probably set my hearth here. Cause I'm pretty sure we gotta go to Kalimdor. So we will do that. All right. Hello. Ever am I Good amazed luck, by the selflessness exhibited when so many would instead turn Be to careful. selfishness instead. What brings you here? Adventurer, I am still Farewell. in need of a number of linen you bandages before my assignment here is fulfilled. Inventory is Will not full. Why are you saying that? More in the collection of those bandages. You have an open slot. You are to be commended, oh, adventurer. Why? Yeah, why well, is While there are that? those that would take advantage of the economics of our war footing to line their pockets in a fervor of greed. Well, I don't know. You have proven time and again that your devotion to the Alliance. I guess and we're just going to use these scrolls. Of part comes of it. First. Blessings of Alun be with you always. I am honored. Okay, that's that You're one modest. done. Slots free for that now. Wool. Go forth to victory. Strength. Dabu. Go with honor. That's it for the wool. Now tin. I, I assume tin's probably turned in here as well. Lotar. Yep. Strength, strength, and honor. Okay. That's tin gone. And now, will we have room for the copper? Barely. Not really, no. How are you? Back again, adventurer. Get your feet Outstanding. On the we still need more stacks of copper bars if you can procure them for the Angirad Dwarf. What can I do? For Will you help us out? Excellent. Don't, wh why work. are you saying there's no Digging room around for there. that copper and smelting it must have been quite an adventure. Unless you bought them at the auction house. Either way, it works for me. I don't know what, you what are to be I can do here. For your contribution to the war effort, Other than run all the way to the bank Please and run all the way back. I guess we'll just get rid of the linen cloth. Like, what, what are you talking about? Why, why did they Safe think there was travels. something wrong with the way the game calculates inventory space, I guess? It can't put the accommodation on its own stack, I guess? I don't really get that at all, but... But yeah, I think we actually are not going to have enough room for all these right now. Let's. I know there's a, a guy that we can buy a bag from. We're going to have to go do that. And then we're gonna have to start figuring out what we're doing with them. I might need to start just saving them. Just start stocking up on the cloth. Is this the guy who sells the bags? Honored, I'm sure. Nope. Very General good, good tender. Well met. Yes. I'll buy one. I doubt I can afford more than one bank slide. I think it's the second travels. one's five gold. But we can afford the one gold one. Now we'll also set our hearth while we're here. Let's do that first before I forget. There's Christmas stuff. Cause we gotta, we're gonna have to, uh, Christmas guy, I guess. How uh, we're gonna have to, um, 
to come back through here multiple times, so I'll probably hearth early in the play in the thing and then it'll be up again. How are you? How Fill are you? Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories Off to tell you. and kegs to empty. Alright. That's eight. Exactly eight, so no matter what, this fits with the bag. But yeah, sooner we won't be able to continue turning these in. We'll have to either spend some of them or... I don't know. What's on your mind? But for some reason, the changes I made to them doesn't work, so it's impossible to see which are which. Yeah, next one's 10 gold, actually, so that's even worse. All right. All right, so we actually only have nine slots free for all that. Okay. And that is that. Very good. Let's head out. I don't know what to put where anymore. Put the food there, I guess. Alright, so we did everything we wanted to do. Now we will go to Ironforge. Oh yeah, we're gonna turn in the stone too, huh? I think I'll just wait at this point. We don't really need the experience. Interesting, uh, yeah, this really actually does a lot more to the playthrough than I thought it was going to, because now not only are we balancing inventory space on our character, but we're balancing gold and inventory space in the bank. Because we gotta be able to buy, yeah, like suddenly bags become like fucking insanely valuable. Interesting stuff. Hopefully, we get a few more ten slaughters. All right, so we're off to Stormwind now, right? Nah, we never trained. Oh well, probably don't need to do it. Wildhammer dwarves might have fast steam, but can those airy pink griffins stand the heat of the Great Forge? I think not. Stormwind. Then I think we'll just hearth right back here to try to get it on cooldown. We're certainly going to be here for more than an hour, so probably the best option because otherwise we got to fly to. Uh, uh, well, we got to fly to West, whatever Menenthil. Well, wet wetlands actually is where we start, so maybe it's better to do that and then set the hearth to. Hmm, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Probably just use it ASAP. Do a few minutes on the travel. Yeah, I did edit the quest. I also added a little custom content in here. We'll see. I've never done this quest line before in my life. I did not know it even existed. Uh, I knew about the Wrathbane Gauntlet thing, but I did not know that after you get this, I did not know about all this stuff. Because normally you wouldn't bother with it, right? Like you don't need a shield when you're leveling as a warrior. I did not know all this existed, so I'm very eager to see what they do here. 
I'm excited. Is that even good? Seven block? Mm. I think you gotta wear it though, right? It looks awful. I don't like the look of it at all. But we gotta put it on, surely. I will never afford a mount. We're gonna have to make a quest line for it. Just, I don't know. Never, ever, ever going to be able to afford a mount. I think maybe an option is to, like, make it so if you're exalted, the mount is free. That'd be cool. Because I can easily get I could probably get exalted, like, right now. I don't know how much rep is required to get exalted, but... I am already revered, so yeah, I could definitely get exalted like right now. That's an interesting idea. That's a very interesting idea. So put all the tokens into this rep first. Get the mount ASAP. Make it so the mount works at any level. That's a fucking hell of an idea. Fuck, man. That's a great idea. That's a really powerful addition to the system. I feel like that's a very, very good addition to the system. I guess we'll just do this you now. You got though, my because... attention? Watch your back. Hi. See you soon. Safe travel. Because we're going to, uh, we can, we're going to hearth again anyway, so. You got my attention. Dry times, don't you think? Ah, Barley Brew Stalker. Great stuff. So you've been to see Yoris, eh? I can get you a shield, yes, sir. You won't find a better one, and that's no lying. So I gave you a nice shield, but we don't have to stop there. I know the secrets to make extremely hard mail armor. It's not easy, and it takes very rare materials. But if you're willing to do the legwork, then I'll make a piece for you. What do you say, adventurer? If you're up for the challenge, then I'll give you a list of what to get and where to get them. Off with you. And do. Okay, so one thing I definitely did was change this, because I changed the quest. So let's see if, I don't think I changed the actual, this part didn't change at all, right? So let's hearth. Um, fire hardened mail, yeah. Doesn't say anything about that here. But uh, first thing we're gonna do is, it looks like most of it takes place in uh, STV, or in, um, I would say that, whatever that zone's called. But let's read it and see, oh yeah, see it doesn't even work. I don't understand what's going on with that. Is that bugged? Like, it's bugged, right? Yes. Oh, it works after you do it the first time. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's read it. Well, we gotta fly first, but we can read it after. Or we gotta deposit these in the mailbox, but we can read it as we fly. So it looks like the page doesn't show up the first time you Talk open something. Me. You gotta open it a second time. Watch your back. And that is, that is a very good idea about that experience thing. Or that rep thing. All right, let's take a look at this. The following, in the following pages, you'll find a list of materials necessary to make fire-hardened armor. Good luck, warrior. Scorched spider fangs. The incendicite ore that is found in a cave near the vicinity of Thelgen Rock has scorched the spiders that dwell there. Oh, that's the other quest that we can do too. The venom in their fangs boils and reacts with their fangs themselves to create a very tough substance. Charred horns. Much like the scorched spider fangs, the charred horns of the chimera that reside in the charred veil in the Stone Talon Mountain on Kalimdor possess a much prized quality. 
pounded flat and properly treated, they become extremely resilient to physical stress. The rare galvanized horn's toughness is the linchpin of the entire piece of armor I will create, and so it too must be procured. It may be gained from the rare chimera matriarch in the charred veil. Wild hammer dwarves might have fast steeds, but can those airy pink griffins stand the heat? And this is the thing we changed here. The last stage of creating the armor will require an extremely hot forge. To produce the needed level of that of heat, I must have a vial of phlogiston. The only known maker of the substance is the fabled quillbore, Locke Orcbane, and he will not give it up without a fight. Locke dwells in Blackthorn Ridge, deep in the Southern Barrens. So not in the dungeon. Hopefully we did this all right and we'll be able to go kill him and it'll be a lot more realistic than soloing a dungeon, obviously. I like these quests. I definitely don't want them to not be doable. So that is how we'll do it. Why do I still have dusky crab cakes? Oh, we're supposed to bring that still to jitters, right? Yeah. What's going on up here? No dark iron dwarves, it's just a bunch of trolls running around. But yeah, so this is like a very long and in, like this is a really crazy quest line to be honest. So we'll see if we can even find it. Maybe, maybe we can't even finish it today, I don't know. But hopefully the actual like, you know, kill mobs part isn't going to be so difficult that we can't do it. We're almost 27, we are almost 30, I mean, and uh, I can't imagine this quest needs to be done that high, so. Even with the ring on, I don't think it's gonna make it much harder. But yes, we'll start uh, in west in this zone and we will go to this cave, I guess. It's over here, this cave. We have two quests to do there actually, so that's nice. Didn't even, did not know that was gonna be the case. Oh yeah, let's turn this in. I realize we still have one of these in our inventory too. Great to meet you. See you soon. I would imagine we'll be on our way to 30 soon then. But yeah, so now we have a uh, shield slam. And tactical mastery now gives us 20 rage each time we switch, so that's more than we're gonna actually get. I want to pick this. Oh, hold on. Before we switch, on my go weekly anywhere. visit to Iron Beard's tomb, I was attacked by dreadful. I'm gonna pick this up. I don't. I don't really know why I'm gonna pick it up, but I'm gonna pick it up because I feel like the slimes anywhere in the zone can drop it. Am I? Am I wrong about that? I didn't change it. Like I don't know that for sure. I just think that's how it works. Let's go get some more potions. I should have gotten the ones from the inn too before I went over here. What's this guy? How are you? See you later. Not the guy. Greetings. More potions. They're going to be up 100% of the time, which is a little cheesy, but we need them. I don't think it's that rare. Like, it's not like you wouldn't be able to get them somewhat reliably. But it's pretty nice because if you're doing like death skips and shit all over the world in classic, it's you can come up here and get six potions. There's potions that are like really powerful for that level, you know? You need something? Level 12 only is the requirement too, so. The They're very powerful. You death skip from there to here, from like whatever Iron Forge to here, like level 15, you'd be trying to go to uh, Dark Shore. Gotta write that down, Dark Shore. Uh, and then you can pick up those potions. So then you have fucking massive health heals every time. Pretty nice. It's actually really nice. The big question that I need to figure out is how the, uh, really like that idea. Isn't that such a great idea? When you hit Exalted with your main faction, you just get the mount. That is such a great idea. 
Oh my god, that is such a great idea. I don't know. My claws are still dirty. That is such a great idea for a single player version of WoW. I'm really happy with that idea. Okay, so yeah. No, anyway, uh, I just need to figure out how I get the, the stuff for free. I don't want to just give the character gold. I don't. That could be done, but I'd rather definitely rather not do that. Um, but yeah, so I think I can probably like reward the spell of like let's see riding. I also may try to just because I don't really understand. There's some mounts. Let me just see what, like, hold on, what's it called? Um, no, I, I'd rather just have it done normally. But the, no, because, yeah, it's actually pointless, because no matter what, I'm not going to be able to afford the stuff. Like, if you want to just give it to them for free, then there's not going to be... I don't know which one is the expensive one, but I'm pretty sure it's not writing. I'm pretty sure the mounts cost the money in this version. Um, so what, what would we call it? Yak? Or what's the name of these things? Ram? Let's look at the rams. White ram. What, what other rams are there? Let's see. Black ram. Oh, that's... That's a high level one. Is there no... There's not really any low level extra mounts right that's only for the high level stuff so anyway white ram like i don't know what the difference is the item oh it's probably got a requirement on the item yeah 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 so I can just get rid of that. I can make a new item. That's that's a great idea. Okay, cool. That's a great idea. Fucking great idea. This is a, this is a great idea. Because right now there's no... Um, there's no reward for being exalted with the current faction. Like, I want to give the racials. So if I was exalted with Darnassus, I would have access to shadow meld but i already have access to to stone form so i don't want to just give a second charge of stone form basically i don't i don't like that so yeah i think that's the that's the reward when you get exalted with your your faction you get you get them out instantly it's a great it's a great idea And then that's still, you know, Paladin and Warlock still gets the same, you know, it's just not a free, it's not just a free mount, you actually have to do something for it. Yeah, I love that. That's perfect. That'll be our next, uh, next thing to do. Don't know how. Can you make a quest giver out of a vendor? I don't know. Because the guy is a vendor who I'd turn, who I'd want to talk to. Maybe I can put it somewhere else. I really like the idea of going to the guy and getting writing that way, though. You know, it's like a pretty cool action. Almost there, I think. I don't know exactly where this cave is. I don't think I've ever been in here. Presumably, it's the cave on the map, and we're just gonna go over there, and that's gonna be that. Hopefully, it will be uh, as we expect it to be. There's no other caves, though, I don't think. 
Whatever that is, I guess. Oh, maybe it's that. Northwest of Algaz Gate. So, no, it's that, yeah. So we need 50 of these things. Oh, they don't even, you don't even need to go inside, it looks like. Plenty of them outside. See, there's a slime. I knew there was slimes all around here. Uh, yeah, gooey spider leg. Oh, and tin ore. What the hell? That's a, the wrong button. Fuck. Just press the disarm button on a spider. Its face is all red. That's funny. That didn't work. Kind of confused by the interrupting situation here. Can't tell if it's a bug with Plater or if it's a bug with the server. I like Shield Slam though because, or yeah, Shield Slam because it's not like Baroque Strike. You don't have to wait for your auto attack. It's really nice. Yeah, are gaining a lot of health from this buff I have. Big pain in the ass. Oh, is this the cave that it rains on cop in? Is that is this the cave? Is this actually still in the game? I don't even know. I mean, they didn't remove the cave, I'd imagine, so probably. Dead here? This mob is a very dangerous mob type. Because it's healing constantly while we're also taking damage from it. It instantly, sweet. This spell's harder to use than you think. Okay, where's the actual ore? Tons of it in here, it looks like. Strange location, I'll tell you.
better eat it. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I mean the drop rate's pretty high. We'll be, we'll be done after not too long. gonna be like a multi hit thing again oh it is well that's easy it's one no that's all we need then kind of stupid what the hell I probably should just go full off full offense against these guys they don't really have a lot of health. There's regular. Oh, silver. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of stuff in here that's not incendicite, yeah. But tin is all there is, so it's not really worth going out of our way for. What happened? Why am I? Why am I in the stance? Okay, silver vein. We need that real bad. That's gonna be really nice. Craft some stuff with that. The only thing I, so I've seen that there's like a bunch of new items that you get from this giant quest chain. And I don't think they're going to be upgrades, unfortunately. So I think what I might do is go find all the items and then add the same, um, you know, technology, whatever, the same strategy we did with blacksmithing items to that as well. Because then it'll allow us to, uh, those items will have more value. And, and there's they're certainly a lot more work than any blacksmithing item would be. So what does this, does this do anything else? I don't know. I definitely, you know, you could maybe, maybe you can't mine it if you're not in the quest, I was going to say, but the caves fill with it, so. Unique little thing there, Blizzard did. That shit's strong. Obviously, it's because we're too high of a level. We're too low of a level for it, I think. No, we don't even have fucking charge up. Okay, that mob is no longer alive. Yeah, it's not gonna drop it though, I think. I don't know. I just knew that there was some slimes here and I thought maybe we'd get that done too somehow. Right, I guess not. Is that just not interruptible or something? I don't get it. It still gets a cast off even though I interrupted it. Oh, well, we're taking that. That's for sure. Now we're feeling quite powerful. But again, we're really over level for this quest. I just want to do it because it looks fun. I think there's like, is it, it, it 
Well, I don't know. If we start with 20 rage and, and charge, we don't gain any rage, so. It's still fun to charge, though, man. I don't know. Drop rate is kind of low. Do we actually have to kill one mob for one? I don't even... We're probably getting, like, two per kill. Definitely should have picked up Shield Slam earlier, though. <laughs> it's kind of dumb that I didn't. No surprise there, I guess. Whoops. Not in deep... Not in battle stance. Especially since these guys are so defensive, we should just go at them full offense. Leatherworking. Oh, Barbaric Gloves. Do I have that? Let's take a look. Ah, no, I don't have that. So that's the pattern we need. Dude, how do I still have these? I just keep forgetting to delete them. Put those there. Actually, like getting a lot of progress <laughs> in this playthrough, simply because of, or we're getting a lot of progress with the other playthrough simply because of this playthrough. Really hate to have to eat while fighting gray moms, but I think we're gonna have to. I guess we can use the potions, but it's not like we actually have infinite of them. And they're getting kind of weak anyway, so we might as well just eat. Once every like seven or eight mobs is probably all we need to do it. And we should be done soon anyway. Then we gotta go all the way to Kalimdor. What's going on here? I'm pressing the button too often and it has no GCD, I guess. Well, if we use Blood Rage, then obviously we're going to need to heal more than we initially expected. Yeah, that's getting to be pretty weak now. Oh, plus our health buff fell off. Let's drop a... Let's just go ahead and eat that then. Since we will get food, or we'll get like healing from that as well. That's actually solid in terms of its health too. It's the previous tier of food, which is fine. How many do we have left? Six more only, so we're good. Seeing those big crits are fucking good. They're good.
I guess either way, it's like guaranteed maxed out rage. It sucks to potentially waste it, but I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I'd rather charge, just honestly, because it's fun. In this case, we have 29. Definitely not use it there. Okay, two more kills. Find two more, step one. Definitely not my favorite zone in the game, but this is a fun little deter, deter excursion. Fun little excursion, a fun little detour. <laughs> Made a little comeback there in terms of health. It just doesn't work, so I don't know why I'm even bothering with that. That doesn't look like it works though. I mean, surely we killed like six or seven already. I can't imagine it would take more than that if the drop rate was high like it is. Okay, done. On our way back now. Should we go, is that, I don't even know where that's done. Should we just go do this quest and get this out of the way? I kind of don't even really care. Let's go and just drop this quest. It's actually a really out of the way quest. I don't feel like it's worth doing. Wait, where are we going to end up in Kalimdor? I just realized. Can we go to Theramore? This is going to be a fucking trek, dude. I just realized. But it's actually fine because we can cut through. We'll cut through the Baron. Actually, what, really what we should have did was gone to Ratchet, but I have no way of getting there without dying a ton, so. Now all of a sudden it's sunny. Huh? We had like floods here this morning. Pretty nuts. But then it looks like it opens up three new quests. And those three quests then require you to go do something. Unless it's just maybe one per race. But I don't think it is. It looks like they're all in Stormwind, so. This looks like it's gonna be hard though. Gotta kill a named guy, Guts Bill. But anyway, what does it give you? Oh, Grimman's armor, okay. Fire hardened coif. Well, that's really good. That doesn't even need additional stats. But yeah, I think I will add that. So what are the items I have on currently? Uh, we'll just look at like an item that's more like level appropriate, let's see. This is a level 21 item, so this would be perfect. Silvered bronze breastplate. Let's look at this. Four ninety nine is the random property we'll add to these. Fire hardened coif. Oh, is it the whole set fire hardened something?
Stop and get that, I guess. These quests look like they take you all over the world, though. It's really cool. This has been so fucking fun. I can't lie to you guys, man. This has been the most fun. Like, it's different fun than anything I've done in Live WoW, obviously, but this is definitely the most fun leveling challenge I've ever done, for sure. Not even, it's not even really close. It's got me really hooked. Especially all the creative elements of, like, customizing it. It's really fun. Walk Mork's creation and gives fire hardened gauntlets. Okay. So that's. What is that that we just got? Fern's favor. Okay. That's those gone. And then this guy gives this one. Hardened leggings. So, what is fire hardened buckler? Where's that from? Oh, that's a completely unrelated quest. I actually had it, Theral Zone quest. And then, fire hardened halberd. What is that? Is that the actual chess piece that we get? It probably is. Yeah, it is. Okay, we don't care about that one because I have a different plan for that item. It's a good item, though. It's actually a really good item. 14 stamina, 5 strength. That's a really good item. <laughs> that would be way better than what we're wearing right now. quest is not turned in anywhere near here. Hopefully I'll remember to turn it in at some point in my life. This really opens things up though, I feel like. It really makes classic so much more explorative, so much more replayable too. Because as much as I like doing the rest of the experience guide, it is kind of boring and you do the exact same quest every single time you level. This really opens things up because there's so many ways to gain experience now. All right, so this is the boat to Theramore, I assume. There's only the two, right? Looks like we're gonna miss it though. Ah, uh, that's the... If we do miss it, we'll go get the fuel along here's quest, because that's where you get that. I guess we're not going to miss it. It's going to be... Yeah, we got it. Cool. Hopefully this is a boat, because <laughs> I'm surprised that we didn't miss it somehow. Does it move? Oh, it's, yeah, perfect. Fucking great timing.
Great timing. Love it. Yeah, I see. So the item allowable race seventy seven. What's it what? Confused by that. It says that, but Oh the I guess I'm more confused by the previous patch ID saying four seventy nine, which I don't know like every race in the game, I don't know what that number is. But anyway, yeah, it requires level twenty. Oh I changed that. But it still requires a skill. So yeah, we'll just make a new item that doesn't require any of this stuff. Okay, went there more. High Purge Venom. Actually gonna pick that up because we are going to come back here someday. Well, today, hopefully. I don't know, this is gonna be a long episode. It's right for well. Right, 3.30 or... Like like I don't have any flights. Um, we may not finish this today, to be honest. I have about another hour and a half that I can play, so we'll just do the whole episode in this sitting, but... Um, yeah, we'll see. It is, like, it looks like it... Well, def I definitely don't see it's finishing the whole thing. All three items. This quest, uh... It, it, I, I was just reading about it and it looks like parts of it you got to come here anyway so you got to c come to the area that this quest is supposed to take you to so I am listening as you may know wyverns are often tamed by orcs for use as mounts but what is less known is the venom of a wyvern in some circles is more valuable than the beast itself so if you're not afraid to do a little wyvern hunting, then I have a job for you. There's a place called High Perch in the land of Thousand Needles, west of here. The High Perch wyvern have a potent <laughs> venom, potent and valuable. What brings you here? Hello? This is useful, I guess. Useless. If you're fresh off the boat from Menthil, then the first thing you should do is go to Astronar. I am sure an eager member of the alliance such as you can do some real good there. Speak with Shindril, Swiftfire, and offer your services. Don't bother mentioning who sent you. Shrindrel doesn't know me. It's a strange little quest there. We'll pick it up though. I guess we have plenty of slots for quests now all of a sudden. There's a paladin trainer here, which I think is really cool. Theramore is a very unique little area. It's basically like a, another hub. Like it's another uh, capital, I mean. Or it has the same thing on... Uh, Wait, do they? I guess that'd be... Is it Gromgol? Is there a shaman trainer in Gromgol? I don't think so. Oh, Stonard is the equivalent, yeah. Which does make a lot of sense because that's where the orcs would have settled after coming out of the dark portal. Okay, I don't know what the reality of us making it there without dying is, but I guess it probably doesn't matter that much. Maybe we should have just died. I don't. Can you run from, from like, 
death spot, whatever you would call it, resurrecting angel thing to, to the other. Yeah, I know you can do that in live wow, but I don't know if you can do that in this version. Probably not. To be <laughs> I bet that's not a classic feature. Because especially as a night elf, that'd be a pretty good way to travel early on in the playthrough. so weird that the fucking quest gives cloth, but it requires mining. I guess there's not really that many mobs near the road. We're not really that low of a level anymore, to be honest. It's just like, the, I mean, it's the same way I do it, just like Pokemon. I don't think I could ever go back to playing another vanilla like straight up 1x class it's just i don't think i could i've done so much work here and it's been so fun i can't ever really see myself yeah i don't know Long run though. We're almost out of this first part of the run. Then we will have to go do some killing. So if you don't recognize the name of that, um, Lock Orkbane, that is the guy who is the ultimate end kill point for the Horde version of the Kill Quillbor quests. I think he's pretty high level. Might be like 27 or something even. So we'll have our work cut out for us here, but obviously it's they're meant to be killed by people at our level, not a not a dungeon, so that's a good change. This is fucking great. I, I'm having so much fun with this. I really am, it's really funny. Oh yeah, there's that silver too, I forgot about that. Oh, I see. Those need to stack. Let's go ahead and change that.
I pick this? Uh, I think this starts in the city anyway, right? Okay, we're in my favorite zone ever. I don't know, Azure's band slowly rising up that list. But in classic, no, no real competition. Always fun to be here as an alliance too. It's like, kind of, kind of feels like a little taboo even, you know? Like, what are we doing here? How do we get here? Scorch spider thing, is it? Yeah, scorch. All right. Uh oh. Well, it's a civilian, so. That's probably aggroing, right? It's walking very close to us. Wow, we are small compared to the shit in the Barrens, dude. <laughs> Fucking. Wars, man, they're so small. Think we can split the middle here, probably. These guys are only level 21, so actually, yeah, we probably won't have to fight that much stuff here. What we can do definitely though is put on a weapon thing. Yeah, level twenty five, some more higher. Isn't there mobs that are in stealth too? I feel like there are. Actually, don't have to fight anything, it looks like. There'll be some mobs standing up here. I guess we should fight those to kill them, but... You gonna cast spells or no? Okay, I guess... Yes, you are. I just was impatient. I just miss. Oh god, that's terrible. Truth, let's see if it works. When level Z 25, we're good. Could uh, disarm him too. Hopefully, I did everything right and we have credit from this. We do. Viola Flogenston. Cool. Excellent. Alright, now it's off to somewhere very far away. This is gonna take a while to get there. Hell of a quest. This is a fucking hell of a quest. This is a fucking hell of a quest. I just realized. Because this is only one part of it. I'm glad I put all these extra rewards in for this quest line. Because this is definitely. This is definitely worth it. 
So we so far what we do we add the blade storm thing to the first segment of it. Then we added another so then we're gonna do this segment and we're gonna get a piece of gear. I won't tell you how it goes down, I'll leave it for the actual playthrough, but there will be a way for us to get a piece, uh, a charm as well from that. Then there will be three new quest lines that open up that will require us to go to three completely separate areas, it looks like. Each one of those will then give me a piece of gear once I finish the quest line. But I buffed all three of those pieces to be very, very, very good items. So, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's fun. This is really fun. And this is all... All just straight, straight up warrior content. It's not in the. <laughs> I don't know. Is there like a horde equivalent? I don't know, but I guess there must be. Okay, now it's now it's dark in here again. I guess there's no like the alliance outrunners. Like they don't have a. There's nothing you can do with them, right? Well, enjoy the ambience. Don't have much to talk about. Was that copper? Yeah. <laughs> I just thought of something though. The rep idea is fun, but how the fuck are we going to transfer all the transfer all the boxes to the NPC? <laughs> it's going to be a mess. Oh, that's not where we go anyway. Yeah, that's going to be a real mess. We're going to have to like just empty our entire inventory into the bank. I don't think I'll add the gems, though. I was thinking about that when I opened my inventory and saw all these things. I don't think I'll add them. Maybe the higher gems or something. 
but like yeah you just again it's like i don't want there to be like okay i mined a copper node i now got credit for three quests it's like yeah i see why the stone maybe even was a bad idea I could increase the stone to 50. I think I might do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Because it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of double dipping way harder than any other option. Should we go get that flight path? Honestly, yeah, I think we should. Well, no, I don't need to. What I'm gonna do is, oh, uh, is there even, there's no Alliance flight path anywhere in Stone Town, right? I wanna definitely go get the Booty Bay flight path. Oh, there is, there is the flight path there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. That's a little 16. We don't need to fucking worry about that. I don't know what order we should do these things in. I don't even know if I'll go get that flight path, to be honest. I forgot there was even quests up there. Is there? Reclaiming the charred veil. I don't I don't know what's even in the zone for limes. I know there's some stuff from Ashenville that leads you here, though. It's just too much travel. I don't really see myself doing anything in the zone right now. Eastern Kingdoms only. Back to that idea. Should get some flight paths though. Should we get it now? Is the question. Maybe what we'll do is, I don't know. It's a lot of fucking travel. I think we're gonna have to come back here anyway. So I'm gonna implement that mount idea today. I think too. Let's go do this segment of the quest, and then that'll be that, and then we'll get the mount. We'll get the mount implemented. And make sure that works, and then next time I come on, that'll be the first thing we do. I think like how best to implement this. I think like ideally it'd be like the guy who gives the commendation thing gives the quest. I don't know if I like that though.
but like basically like if the quest I don't know I, I guess I guess that could work I just don't yeah I don't know what to do with it to give it I definitely want to go get it from the area that you're meant to go to get the mount I like that idea But I think it would be more proper if it was from the guy who starts the, like, yeah, I think that would be more proper. Like, all right, I just turn all these things in with this fella, and he's going to be like, hey, since you've now fucking exalted, like, you know, I'll go hook, go hook yourself up, bro. Here, here, this on me. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. I think that's the right way to do it. So, I'm so engaged with all the customization of it. It's really... I think I enjoy the customization of it more than the actual gameplay. I was kind of the same way with the Pokemon game. Even though I knew for sure that I was making a Pokemon game that would be the best chance that I would love it, I really haven't played it. I spent probably ugh, fucking thousands of hours making that thing, like more than this. I spent way more time on that than I did this. Mine is playing this. I really, yeah, this isn't, I haven't spent that many hours on this yet. But, uh, oh, I, can we even go this way? Nope. Um, but, uh, Pokemon game, I spent so much time on it, and it was so fun. It really was fun, and then as soon as I got to the end of it, I was like, oh, that's... Well, it was bad timing, too. Because what did I start modding? Was it CK2? I started modding something else, and it was just like... It was new and fresh kind of thing. But I'm kind of... I was up to a point where I really wanted to do, like, a fucking epic-ass ending in the Pokemon game. I wanted to have, like, the, the road to the uh, final battle, whatever you would say. I wanted, instead of, like, an Elite Four, I wanted there to be, like, a, uh, like, how can I put it? Like a, like an, a gauntlet-type area where you, you, uh, team, or, like, a, you're not really a gauntlet, but, like, an area where you have to fight, like, a ton of trainers, but you fight them with people that you've, that the character has allied with already. So, like, you know, the game's got plot, and in that plot you make allies, basically, and in those final moments of the first playthrough, you'd be fighting, like, hard battles, but alongside your allies. I, I really wanted to do that, and I think I set it up to do it. I just, there was a lot of work to do it for every single person, and, um, I just stopped. And that was it. I finished, like, the game's beatable. You just, you just walk through the there's, there's no content there. And then go fight the final battle, who I don't think I actually... What's going on there? I don't think I actually did anything with the final battle. It's just there. It's like a one Pokemon trainer, basically. I just defined the battle and then didn't do anything with it. And then once you beat the game, you start a new game plus, which I never did anything with. I just started that, did the intro to that, and that was it. So, how did that just aggro? I'm confused what happened there. I like turned away for a second and all of a sudden I was in combat. I have no idea how. Well, I don't know where we do this. Let's see.
It says it's a very quick quest. I guess here? Is that where there's... I don't even know where there's chimeras. Actually, just straight up drawing a blank on this. These charred horns are used for a quest. Doesn't say... Yeah, I guess it's just the charred veil. Did, did it say that? I just didn't read it. It probably did. Yeah, the charred veil. Also in the charred veil. All right, so just get to the charred veil ASAP. Unfortunately, maybe maybe we should have went through Desolus. I don't know. Can we have even done that? I don't think so. This is a hell of a fucking run. I don't think there's any shortcut either. Don't know what that quest is, but probably not doing anything here. Maybe we'll see, but I think there's some quest to go to Ironforge. This is just like mostly running this episode. <laughs> it's like how long have we been going already? Over an hour? Hour and a half, and we haven't really done anything. Just running around. Well, we're a tenth of the way there. It's gonna take a long time. I wish I came up with this mount idea sooner. It's such a, such a great idea. At least we have our hearts set. Then we can go back to Iron Forge. No problemo. I think there's like more than one accommodation too, like source for it. Let me look these up while we're running, I guess. Because I know there's multiple NPCs just in Iron Forge, and I think it's because one is supposed to stay there after the event's over. Yeah, and then there's one in each major city as well. So that's probably... I don't know, though. That's probably the guy who we should get the quest from, right? I kind of want to get rid of the guys who were just standing around there. I don't really like that as much. I like the idea of going to the city for it. In this case, it won't change anything because it's an Iron Forge regardless, but. I might just remove the quest from those guys. It's just kind of unfair though for dwarf right because everybody has to go to iron forge so they just have like a massive benefit if you have it only them in their city Master. 
the system? The mechanic cast pipe in Ironforge has need of adventurers. He's organizing bands to re-enter Nomerigan on a data retrieval mission of top security and importance. Cast pipe might not be a member of the enlightened assembly of archaeology, alchemy, and engineering sciences like I am, but he's still a smart gnome, so if he thinks it's important, then by my calculations, there's an 84% probability that it really don't know is if important. Those are good odds. Strange that there's like Alrighty other. Alrighty then. That NPC is for something. I just don't know what. But yeah, we'll pick that up. Fuck it. Probably doesn't give much experience, but I guess it's free experience. We're running by it anyway. Never know. Maybe there's some some follow up we can actually do. Probably not though. Probably about halfway there. Sounds like it won't be that long of a quest once we are there. These guys give it? It said specifically the charred veil, so we'll just go there. Don't try to shortcut it. What's the name of the object that we need, though? Charred horns. Oh, yeah, I can't imagine. We're gonna get it anywhere but there. Four fire elementals as well. I don't think we can get like elemental fire and shit from these guys, but let's, I want to see. Maybe we do somehow. Because that's another thing I have set up to turn in, so might as well collect them if we can. No loot at all. Inauspicious start. Probably can't from that low of a level mob. Where even are... I'm not even aware of where there are... Oh, gold. I don't even know where there are pride wings here. I 
I don't even know where it would be. I guess it's down here, based on the <laughs> quest information, but not sure. Failed attempt? I guess I gotta figure out where we can get the next stage of mining. So these silvered breastplates and all this stuff, that's probably not even needed anymore, huh? Golden scale bracers, steel bars, what? Not what I expected, um, but anyway. Oh, that's unfortunate. Another really good item that we can't make because we don't have the right profession for that, yeah. Shining silver breastplate, that's that's a big piece to get, honestly, but don't think we'll see it. I don't know though. Maybe we can farm iridescent pearls. I don't know where you get them. I don't mind uh, transferring some stuff from the other character, but not that. Like that's something I should be able to get myself. Thick shelled clam. Looks like pretty much any Naga or Murloc. Tons of them in Westfall. Or wetlands, sorry. <laughs> Turn into hair here. I know there's a rare here, but don't know if it's worth it. There's some uh, chimeras. Gold again. Wait, is gold bar not on there? I just realized it's not, is it? That 100% needs to be added somewhere because you get way too much gold. Maybe I'll just add it onto the Horde or Alliance guy for the opposite faction one. Somehow we still get like way more gold than we should, I feel like. I'm not really sure why. Can't seem to figure it out. Oh yeah, that's that horde path. I forgot about that. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of them, if there are some here. I think we have to go further south. Iron? We need that. Oh no, that's awful. Don't put me to sleep. It's actually not a big deal because you just instantly get out of it when you're alone. But when you're, I, I was reacting, expecting that I was still on my hunter. Because <laughs> when you get put to sleep as the hunter, it's really annoying. It's like a really, really, really long cast or duration or whatever. That is really not <laughs> the icon that you should have used for that. What? 
charred horn, and it's like the horn of scenarios from Warcraft 3. Okay. Silver again. I'll take it, I guess. Kind of want to focus on the quest, but that's not happening, so. There's a matriarch. Well, that's a level fucking 28. What the hell? I think we didn't come here at level 20 something, huh? I can't tell. Did retaliation do anything? I popped it and then immediately went into the other stance without even thinking about it. Alright, well that's that quest done. That portion of that quest done, that is. There's very few mobs though, I feel like, so we really like kinda need to clear all these out, I feel like. But I guess there's more than you think. First one missed. <laughs> Great. Oh, he stunned me, so. So that was useless. I was trying to see, like, what the value of using it on single target was, but. Seems like the answer is low, and I'm just gonna fucking die here. I don't know what's even going on right now. Can you die, please? No idea. Elemental Earth. There we go. Inventory's full. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it, so. I would need to eat another buff food anyway, though. This is not a character for that. I don't think we won't be able to deal with that. We can get rid of this uh, shield, though. Now I'll pick it up, I guess. I don't know. There's Sister Ribbon. Level 28 though, so no chance. Dude, there is not a lot of these. This is not a very good quest. I thought this would be way different. Yeah, there is very few of these. Area burn. It's <laughs> a good spell. This is gonna be a fucking dangerous proposition here. Level 
27s. Kind of covered in mobs here. We should put another one of these on. Are these supposed to only last 30 minutes? I feel like that's... I never did that. I didn't do that right. Yeah, I don't see us pulling that alone. So we better clear out this whole area. Doubt and shield block. <laughs> oh. He parried my shield slam and it sounded like I hit like a bone or a rock or something like that. It sounded really weird. Get him now, maybe? Probably not. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, we're fine. God, miss again with that. Alright, well, forward 12 at least. There's another one here. Doesn't seem like there's any reliable source of them. They're just kind of all scattered around. These guys don't fucking drop loot, period, so. That's a waste of time. This is a kind of rough quest, to be honest. Not the most fun when the thing you're targeting is like super scattered amongst densely mo densely packed mobs and you have no idea where they might be. No idea how we didn't aggro anything there, though. Seven to twelve, though. It's just like difficult to navigate.
There's one, yay. Need one more kill, but realistically, oh, just random chest in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Free or sure thing. stuff oh yeah my inventory is entirely full I forgot about that okay yeah not really many things we can do here it's really wait what was that I saw a blacksmithing thing oh it's a dagger we don't need that gold I'm all set there's that rare tree as well and right next to the rare I don't know if that's the rare if that's the name mob they have to kill but kind of stuck here I don't know how to navigate this area sucks this is actually probably the worst quest we've done in the whole playthrough which is really unfortunate because it's just because of this mob density and i don't really have an easy way to solve that other than start deleting mobs which i definitely don't want to do but yeah in terms of the actual like it's like fine like it's like drops all the time it's not an issue but just getting the actual kills is hard Nope, not done, of course. But that's fine, there's only more over here anyway. What is that, crit or something? Why did we just get so much health on that? I think pots can crit, right? Oh, we're not even going to finish this quest. I was like, yeah, we might be able to finish this whole fucking chain. No chance. We're not even going to finish this chain in the time I expected. Yeah, that's aggroing, right? Surely. I did not aggro somehow.
All right, we're finally done though, so we could hearth. This was definitely a good adventure. It's just this part was really bad. Just really in one of the worst areas in the game. At the end of the day, it's not really anything to do with anything else. Okay, so that's it. I think that's where we we'll stop because now I'm gonna go do this shit and we'll just stay in Orgrimmar. Or should we just come back? We can just come back another day, I think. I don't know. I kind of don't want to not turn that in at this episode, but. At the same time. I also want to get working on that and to hours late, as they say, so. Yeah. All right, so that is where we'll stop. So thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will be doing a lot of things, so stay tuned. It will be a new day for me as well, so. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the next one.